Okay, so this one is on interest. It's an extension activity for those that have their stuff done. I want to push you guys a little bit. So the formula is I equals PRT. We've learned about that in school. Now remember that I is the interest. That's how much money you make or spend. P is the principal. That's your initial amount. It's your starting amount. R is the rate. That is your percent, but it goes into the formula as a decimal. And T stands for time. And it's usually in years, although they can, if they really want to be tricky, say months. So knowing all of that, the basic one that we did in class, we say, hey, you've got $300 at 5% interest for four years. And you say 300 times 0 0.05 times four. 300 times 0 0.05 times four. And that gives us $60 for interest. And then one step further, if you want us to know the total, you've got the $300 that you initially did plus the 60, so your total is 360. And that is the basic that I really need you to know for the test. But the extension I want to push you towards is what if we know the interest but we don't know the principle or the rate or the time. The process is the same for all of them. So let's say that the interest I paid is $5, $5 interest. And the rate was 2% and the time was two years. How much was my principal? Well, then I just substitute things in. I say five equals, we don't know what the principal, we know the rate was 0.02 and the time was two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do 0 0.02 times two. 0 0.02 times two is 0 0.04. Five equals the principal times 0.04. Now it's a one step. I divide this side by 0.04. I divide this side by 0.04. 5 divided by 0.04 is $125 is my principal. And that's it. It's the same thing for rate or time. So if I know that my interest is $8 and my principal is $120 and my time is four years, but I don't know what the interest rate is. I don't know what my R is. So I would say I equals PRT. And I would plug in the I is $8. Plug in the principal of 120. I don't know what the rate is, so I'm just gonna leave that as R, but time is four. So then I would do 120 times four. And 120 times four is 480. Now I divide both sides by 480. And I do eight divided by 480, and I get 0 0.016 repeating. Well, 0 0.016 repeating, move it over one, two, that is 1.6%, or 1.7 if you're rounding. Okay, hit the exact same thing. So we've gone over how to find the principal. We've gone over how to find the rate. It's the exact same thing for time. So if I know that my, I invested and I earned $300, we're going to jump it big, and my initial amount was $5,000, and I left it in for six years. What rate was, not years, we're trying to find time. I left it in a rate of 3%. I'm making these problems up as I go if you can't tell. So I would say I equal PRT 300 equals the principal, which is 5,000 times the rate, which is 0 0.03 times the time. And we don't know what the time is. So I do 5,000 times 0 0.03. That gives me 150. Divide both sides by 150. And I get 300 divided by 150 is 2. 
the time is two years. Okay, so it's the same process every time you plug it into I equals PRT. You times the two that you know, you divide by the, in the interest divided by the two that you know, and that will give you your answer. You've got this, I want you to practice it. And thanks for being awesome having your work done.